Hola chicos, aquí tenemos el vocabulario de Unidad 1, lección 1. Este capítulo se llama Vamos de viaje. Este libro avancemos 2, página 55. Las metas. Our goals for this video are to discuss travel preparations, to talk about things you do at an airport, and also to learn the vocabulary to learn how to get around town. Empecemos con hablar de las preparaciones para un viaje. We'll start with the vocabulary to discuss travel preparation. La agencia de viajes significa travel agency. El agente de viajes o la agente de viajes significa travel agent. Confirmar el vuelo significa to confirm your flight. Hacer la maleta significa to pack the suitcase. Hacer un viaje significa to take a trip. Ir de vacaciones significa to go on vacation. Llamar a significa to call. Viajar significa to travel. El boleto significa ticket. El boleto de ida y vuelta significa round trip ticket. El equipaje significa luggage. La identificación significa identification. El itinerario significa itinerary. La maleta significa suitcase. El pasaporte significa passport. La tarjeta de embarque significa boarding pass. El traje de baño significa bathing suit. Ahora en el, el aeropuerto. Now we're going to talk about vocab for at the airport. Abordar significa to board. El aeropuerto significa airport. El auxiliar de vuelo o la auxiliar de vuelo significa flight attendant. Facturar el equipaje significa to check your luggage. Hacer cola significa to form a line. La pantalla significa monitor or screen. El pasajero o la pasajera significa passenger. Pasar por seguridad significa to go through security. La puerta, since we're talking about the airport, significa gate. Remember, puerta is door. When we're referring to airport, we mean the gate. So the context is muy importante. La salida significa departure. Remember, salida is also exit. So you're exiting one city to go to the next. El vuelo. El vuelo significa flight. La llegada. This comes from the verb llegar, to arrive. So la llegada is an arrival. Pasar por la aduana significa to go through customs. This is whenever you travel from one country to the other, basically just a, a check that you have, an additional security check to make sure you're not bringing in anything that you shouldn't be to that country. El reclamo de equipaje significa baggage claims. Ahora vamos a aprender cómo preguntar información en la comunidad. We're now going to go over vocabulary in order to ask for information around town. Por favor, ¿dónde queda? This is a phrase to ask, please, can you tell me where such and such place is? La estación de tren significa train station. La oficina de turismo. Here you'll notice I have several pictures of tourism offices. These might be a small kiosk within the airport. They also might be a building within the city, or sometimes they're a little kiosk that's just a standalone thing outside in the middle of the community. Many times they will have this I symbol uh, showing that they have information about what to do around that city. 
la parada de autobús. Significa bus stop. Tomar un taxi. Significa to take a taxi. Es todo para hoy. Muchas gracias y adiós.